Fitbit Lux Review. Small and sleek, the Lux is a great choice for gym going cardio fans. Small, sleek, and polished both inside and out, the Lux is one of the best Fitbits to date. Without onboard GPS, its run tracking isn't perfect, but its biometrics, particularly heart rate monitoring, are impressive, making it a great choice for running or gym goers. The Fitbit Lux is essentially a high end version of the Fitbit Inspire 2, more polished in every way, and with a few welcome extra features, plus more to come soon. Its small display presents some limitations, but is bright, crisp, and attractive. This is a fitness tracker rather than a fully fledged smartwatch. In everyday use, the Lux performs admirably, providing accurate step and heart rate tracking, with the day's stats accessible with a flick of your finger, and more in depth data available in the Fitbit app. There's no onboard GPS, which means relying on either the Lux's accelerometer or your phone's GPS, neither of which is optimal, but the main drawback of the Lux is that its screen is just so compact that it's not possible to see much data at once, to view any historical stats, you'll need to dive into the apps. The Fitbit Lux was announced April 2021, and is due to start shipping on July 1, 2021. It costs $149.95, £129.99, 199 Australian dollars and 95 cents for the standard edition with a silicone band, and 199 dollars and 95 cents, 179 pounds and 95 pence, 299 Australian dollars and 95 cents for the special edition with the gold-colored Guriana link bracelet. The Lux is one of Fitbit's smallest fitness trackers, with a slimline design that harkens back to the original Fitbit Flex released in 2013. There are also more band options for the Lux, which is available in two versions: one with a silicone band and one with a gold-toned stainless steel link bracelet by jewelry designer Goriana. The Lux isn't specifically aimed at women, and its silicone bands come in lunar white, orchid, or black. Many modern fitness trackers, including Fitbit's latest designs, use a soft buckle and tang in place of a traditional fastening for added comfort, particularly while sleeping, but the Lux's small stainless steel buckle was impossible to feel. The tracker's small size meant it never dug into our wrist during workouts, as larger sports watches can sometimes do. The most striking thing about the Fitbit Lux, however, is its screen. Have a monochrome OLED display, the Lux's display is a full-color AMOLED with a 206 by 124 pixel resolution, and it looks fantastic. Watch faces can be customized through the companion app, with lots of attractive options to choose from, including analog and digital designs, that make the most of the bright, colorful display. The face's small size does present a few limitations, you can only see a small amount of data at once, and graphs are out of the question but it's vivid and crisp, with smooth animations and scrolling. There are only six slots for workouts on the Lux, by default these are walk, run, swim, cycle, general workout, and treadmill, and these can't be altered from the device itself. The Lux can detect some exercise types and begin monitoring them automatically through SmartTrack, which is particularly useful for picking up incidental exercise that you might not think to track manually. When it comes to workouts in the great outdoors, it's possible to log runs using only the watch's accelerometer, which is okay for casual social runners, but for increased accuracy you'll need to connect to your phone's GPS. It's a shame that you can't see more historic data on the watch, such as how many days you've attained your steps goal this week, or a graph of your heart rate throughout the day. This is a limitation of the small display. The color screen means that the Lux has slightly less impressive battery life than its cousin, the Inspire 2. Fitbit estimates that it will last 5 days in normal use before needing a charge, and in our experience that was roughly accurate. Thankfully, charging is easy. The Lux is supplied with a USB charger that connects to the rear of the device securely using a magnet, and doesn't shift and disconnect easily. The Lux has a sensor for blood oxygen saturation, SPO2, a feature that the Inspire 2 lacks, which we anticipate will drain power faster overnight. To get the most out of the app, you'll need a Fitbit Premium subscription, so this grants to access to more historical insights, including heart rate variability, skin temperature, and SPO2 over time. In a similar vein to apps like Feed and Apple Fitness Plus, the Fitbit mobile app gives you access to a range of instructor-led workouts and mindfulness sessions. These are all pre-recorded rather than live and interactive, but Fitbit is broadening its offering with frequent new additions.